Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back in another video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, let's get into this video. So, I'm about to try this new face wash. Um, so, we're about to go ahead and see if it's good. So, this is my first day using it. So, it says some dry to normal sensitive skin help hydrate and soothe skin as it's cleans, cleans. Um, it's a paraben free, fragrance free. Um, so it says add two or three pumps of cleanser. Massage to your skin with your fingertips. Rinse, pat dry. Um, so let's say you can also rub it in um, without water, but I'm going to always put one on my face. So, yeah. So after I do that, I'm going to go in with some witch hazel. And then I'm gonna put some lotion on my face. But I'm about to tell y'all five things that I hate. Like, y'all, some of these things are kind of like, some of these things y'all probably can like relate on me on. But just say y'all five things that I hate that I do not like. Might as well say so. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so the first one is, y'all. I legit hate needles, y'all. Like, well, I don't hate them no more because y'all used to hate needles with a passion. Like, especially when I was little and, like, I had to go to the doctor and, like, get shots and stuff. Like, y'all, I was not having it. I hated needles. And it seemed like just because I hated needles, I had to always get my blood drawn like every time i had to go to a doctor's appointment they wanted to draw my blood and i'm like why do y'all want to draw my blood every time i come here like i'm like uh-uh i'm like why do y'all want to draw my blood so i hated just me i hated getting shots i hated getting IVs. like i have asthma so when I was like in, when I was a child, I was like in and out of the hospital. So I had to get like so many IVs, so many like um, shots and stuff. Like it, it didn't make no sense, y'all. Like I, I legit couldn't take it. Literally, I couldn't take it. I was over it. And now, I mean, I'm not afraid of them anymore because. I still be having to get my blood dry occasionally, especially every time I have to go to the doctor. They always want to dry my blood because I have low iron. So, yeah, I <laughs> got used to it. All right, the next one is, if y'all see me looking at my phone on the side, I'm looking at my phone. The next one is, y'all, I hate elevators. Now, let me explain. So, y'all, if y'all watch my story time, I talked about how... We got stuck in the elevator in New York, and which I was by myself, thank God. But literally, y'all, that was so scary. Like, y'all, that was extremely scary. Like, being on that elevator, like, I, I couldn't take it, y'all. Like, I was crying, I was upset. I probably even had a panic attack because I. Couldn't take it. So after that, y'all, I hated elevators. Like I hated elevators with a passion. Like I didn't want to get on no elevators. I had rather take the stairs than get on the elevator, especially in hotels. Cause hotels, they be the main ones that be getting you with them elevators. All right. So, the next one is, I hate escalators. Like, y'all, I do not like escalators. Like, them things give me extreme anxiety, and I hate them. Like, so, we had to go to the airport. Um, We went to the airport for the first time because my brother, he was going off to college. So, we had to catch a flight. So, 
you know, I'm thinking like, okay, we're going to the airport. We might be getting on a flight. And little did I know, I would be on the escalator. And I just don't like the way it moved, y'all. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just the way it moved. And then, like, would it be time for you to, like, get off the escalator, y'all? Like, that don't literally scare me. Like, I do not like them things. I don't know. You know, I understand. They're supposed to, like, get you to where you going faster. But not to me. I, I didn't like it, honestly. But, yeah. Um, Next one. I hate hanging around people. Now, let me explain, because I know you're going to be like, what you mean you hang around people? Like, if I know you, you know, we cool. Like, we can't hang around each other. Like, if I'm comfortable with you, and, you know, we good. But, like, say, like, if I go out in public, right? Or, like, say I go to a party, right? And, then, like, I see, like, this random, like, this random girl group of girls come walking up to me and they were like hey and i'm just sitting there like literally sitting there awkwardness like what do i say like what the fuck like nobody ever walk up to me and be like hey how you doing or nothing like that so i'm like i'm not used to this so you know i'll say hey awkwardly back but then i know they'll be sitting there like what the fuck wrong with this girl like she never like she can't speak like she like, she don't see us in here, so, like, it's situation like that. Like, I honestly don't, like, go out and just talk to random people. Like, I don't do that. So, like, honestly, truly, I be waiting for somebody to come up to me to be like, hey, I'm not just about to walk up to nobody, especially not no complete stranger, and just be like, hey, how you doing? Like, girl, What? Like, I will literally be out of my mind. Like, I will literally overthink the situation, like, about 20 times before I even do it. So, yeah. But, like, I just don't, like, hang around, especially, like, a big crowd of people, like, especially in public. Um, Like, it, it just be giving me anxiety, and I cannot take it. <laughs> okay, last one. I might hate talking to people on the phone, like, I I really don't like having conversations on the phone. Like I prefer to text people. Uh but of course not everybody wanna text you. They wanna FaceTime you and call you. So I literally had to get used to that because I did not like talking on the phone. Like I hated holding conversation with people on the phone. I would rather just text you, get it over with. But clearly, people can't understand through text what you're talking about. So, they have to call you and be asking you, what are you talking about? Like, nigga, are you slow? Like, you can't read? Like, okay. But, yeah, I literally hated that. Like, I, I'll get on the phone and, like, I'll literally forget, like, what I'm saying. Like, that's how bad it gets. Yeah, like, I hate talking on I used to hate talking on the phone with people. But, you know, now I had to get comfortable with it because, like, when you work in retail, they be expecting you to, like, answer the phone for, like, people. And, like, you know, when customers call with questions and stuff, they be expecting you to answer. So, you don't have no choice them to get comfortable with it because those customers are going to call and, and blow that phone up for something stupid such as them leaving they keys in the back of the store. So, yeah, y'all. But I think that's it. So, yeah, that's five things that I really hate um, or dislike, whatever y'all want to call them. <laughs> Let me know if y'all can agree with some of the things that I hate. Um, because I know a lot of people don't like needles and... I'm not sure about the elevator and the escalator, but I know for sure I didn't like needles. Like needles, oh, oh, gee. needles was a phobia for me. But yeah, other than that, I like it. I'm gonna continue to try it, and then we'll see. Hopefully, my skin will break out because I really want to use this. But if so, we just stop using it, and then I'll go back to my original soap. But yeah. 
So that's it for this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all stay tuned on my videos. I love y'all so, so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, let me know if y'all want a part two of things that I hate because I have more. Um, so yeah, I'll see y'all later. I love y'all. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Remember, God love y'all, and so do I. See y'all later.